good morning everyone we are here in golden bc just look at the mountains in the background over there you know and uh, we are allowed to park over there on the side of the street like that so uh, we got the tim hortons up there can't quite see it just yet but uh, hey i'm gonna go walk me over there and grab me a good cup of tim hortons coffee yes so we'll be right back well there you can see the tim hortons cup the tim hortons uh sign you know and that's where we got it that's where we're gonna go inside and grab yourself a good cup of coffee Alrighty, guys here we go we got ourselves a cup of coffee and a donut and we are on our way Alrighty, guys this is one of the most dangerous part of this part of the highway just take a look over there to the right how deep it goes down over there and we are literally on the edge of the mountain with some real tight corners I know the sun is probably blinding the camera a little bit but uh, we are going to try and film it no matter what even though if the sun is blinding it a little bit hopefully it's still okay but this is one of the scariest part of this highway all the way to BC it's just east of Golden if you're going eastbound it goes up quite a bit and if you're coming westbound it goes down on a fairly good grade you know it's about uh, I don't know five kilometers stretch up here where you literally like right there you see pretty much straight drop off and that goes down a good long way <laughs> as you can probably see right here you can't even really see the bottom that's how straight down it goes oh yeah <clears throat> it is absolutely dangerous in my opinion right here you want to be paying attention when you are driving this stretch of the highway I guarantee you that take these corners too fast you flip her over on to that side towards the right there you're going down my friend you will be going down a long long way not right here but there over there it was you know it was a long way down it's still still going up we are still going up but right here you know if you would get off of that edge there was there would be no holding you back you'd be on the bottom of that uh, between the mountains there you know oh yeah even up here they got like these screen protectors up here to uh, protect you from the rock and the snow I guess uh, when it comes down you know never seen an avalanche up here yet but uh, it might very well be happening every once in a while and I just figured I had to show you this stretch of the highway I know I've shown this before, but it's been a long time since I've been down this highway and there's probably a lot of new subscribers that have not seen me go on this, this highway yet, so I figured I'd show it again, give especially those new subscribers uh, something interesting to watch, I hope anyways it's going to be interesting to you guys. I know not everybody likes the same thing, so it's not to the same level of interest whatever I show you, but uh, I try and do my best, you know. Try and uh, show a little bit of everything, you know. <clears throat> yep. I'm always surprised on, uh, on the highway being able to be supported of these big trucks when they're such deep drop off over there you know it always surprises me how it uh, is able you know support this highway how it's not breaking away and stuff like that you know but I guess they must maintain this highway pretty good otherwise it wouldn't wouldn't be such a good stretch of highway I bet I guess over here you could pull over and take a look at the straight down over there but <laughs> I don't want to try it I know I can see how deep it goes down when I drive down here. 
Well, there's a piece where the highway actually uh, broke away, it looked like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to go down for a little ways. And anyways, guys, I think that's about what I'm going to show you from this stretch. Just figure out, wait till we get around this bend here, and then you can see the straight down over there. And that's it. And we'll be at the bottom. Well, not quite. You'll see actually the river that goes all the way between the mountains up there. You'll actually see it right here. We'll be uh, we'll be going over it here any minute. Right there where you see the sun shining, that's where the little, the little river is. That's where the bridge is. Not right about here. That's where you're going to start seeing it. I don't know how good the camera picked it up though, but right here is the bridge for that little river. So... Anyways, we'll be right back, y'all. Here we go, guys. Here we have a huge bridge. Now we're starting to go up again. And they cut through this one rock up here to go over here. That used to go way down there. That's how the highway used to go. But now they got this huge bridge. I bet you the, the poles underneath this bridge are probably 100 meters high. I don't know how much that is. Probably 300 feet or over 300 feet. That's how high those poles are. Look at this, how they cut through this big rock up here. Just to make the highway, you know. That must have cost them millions of dollars. But it is still a pretty good grade up, you know. Oh yeah, but I'm light, so I'm able to, uh, to roll pretty fast through this area, you know. Some of these other guys are not so lucky. They have a heavy load. See, now you can see they're towards the right. A big drop off again, you know. <clears throat> yeah, see this guy, he's uh, he's probably quite a bit heavier than I am, so I can just cruise right by him, you know. There you can see a little bit to the to the right there, where the highway used to go, way down there, and we got the zigzag everywhere. And yeah, that's how it uh, used to be, you know. But. Yeah, this is a very interesting stretch of highway, you know. I've seen it how it has changed over the years. And when I first started driving this, it was way down there, and now it's way up here. And gives you a good view, that's for sure. Alrighty guys, we are in Calgary at the Flying J right now. And just take a look what we are fixing to have for dinner or lunch, whatever you want to call it. So we'll be getting to eating and we'll be back. Alrighty guys, we have done a lot of things here in the last little while. We are in Calgary. We're just on the outskirts of Calgary anyways. And we uh, finished dropping our trailer at our customer and uh, went over to the Flying J and fueled up the truck and got me a shower had me a nice bite to eat and went over to our terminal and picked up me uh, picked up a empty trailer now we are on our way to uh, Madison Hat Alberta and we'll go down there and switch trailers Continue and pick up my road reload for six kilometers. go home I guess start heading home I won't get home today but start heading home Oh yeah, that's a plan anyways, <laughs> we'll see if that happens, but he was going to meet up with JP today, but uh, he had some uh, friends over, so he wasn't able to uh, meet up with me today because he's busy, but that's okay, maybe next time. I know my wife and a lot of other people were really looking forward to... Uh, meeting up with him and or getting to see me meet up with him because I know my wife and I know a trucker jukebox and all of them guys they all said that they really enjoyed the interview I did last time with uh, JP here from Calgary and uh, yeah well didn't happen doesn't work every time only works sometime when it is, we make the best of it. 
That's right. That's what we do. And they won. Alright. That's what we want, right? Yep. Highway 1 East. That's where we want to go. Towards Madison Head. I saw a little bit darker clothes over there earlier already and I saw some lightning there in the background so it looks like oh, there it was again there was lightning there a little bit so I see it's raining up there somewhere but we are light heavy no not today nothing like that we're empty <laughs> we're empty we are super light right now so. Hopefully we don't get a lot of wind with that uh, black stuff, but I guess it's further uh, north, so I don't think I'm going to hit it, so I should be okay, as long as there's no storms up ahead. Anyways, we'll get down to Madison Hat, and then we'll Speed limit reduced ahead. do all that good stuff and see how far we can make it tonight. Alrighty guys, we just did our trailer switch up here in Madison, Alberta. Yeah, picked up our preloaded trailer. Now I'm ready to roll back home, home sweet home. We got 1115 kilometers to go according to the GPS. So, we'll see how far I feel like driving tonight. I wouldn't mind trying to get up to Moose Jaw tonight, but uh, we'll see. We'll see if we get up there or not. Regina would be perfect, but then again, Regina is a hard place to find a parking in there. That's uh, that's always the challenge there in Regina to find parking. Very limited, but. It's been a gorgeous day so far. Oh yeah. We like it. We like it. And I've gotten very exciting today. I'm very excited. I got contacted by the weather network asking if they could use today's video, which means a week from today when you watch it, or a week back before I meant to say. Saturday last week I would have to say I guess Because that's when I went uh, camping and they really enjoyed that one little clip there that I had and They want to use it so no problem So that gave me a bit of an excitement going on today Yeah A little bit to go till we are to Madison Hat and then We'll be on the open road again. Well guys, today has been a very, very exciting day for me. I have to tell you guys, I got contacted this morning by the Vetter Network channel here in Canada. They asked me for permission to use my video. And at first I was kind of skeptical, to be honest with you guys. I didn't think it was really them, but I said sure why not you can use it and sure enough we watched it uh, they told me what time it was going to be on TV sure enough it was on my wife sent me a video clip of it, it came over national TV uh, across Canada at least I don't know if it came across the United States but up here in Canada it came across because I know 42 North side he texted me and he told me it was on uh, I guess he saw it out there and so it obviously was across Canada and it was also displayed in Manitoba so obviously it was across that really surprised me I never thought my video was that good that it would actually make it onto television but uh, hey I guess it is I'm really proud of myself <laughs> I can't tell you guys enough how uh, how excited I am <laughs> I may not display it but I am super excited <laughs> oh that was that was something that was awesome and thank you guys uh, from the weather channel for uh, giving me the opportunity to uh, have my uh, video displayed on your channel I very much appreciate it 
you guys asking me for it and uh, letting me know and all that good stuff and uh, certainly was a good video certainly was so uh, with that we are in Cairnport Saskatchewan right now at the Husky and we are calling it a day so thank you guys for joining today's vlog and we will see you again tomorrow have a good one <laughs>